Hey you guys, welcome to today's video. I am doing, as promised, a rundown of drugstore loose powders. And I have a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, 12 powders. <laughs> and I, that's not all of them, I'm sure. I'm sure there are others. But we've got the main drugstore brands, L'Oreal, you know, CoverGirl, along with some others that one I got in Canada, one I got at the Japanese grocery store. So we have a whole variety for you. I don't have an absolute favorite. Like this isn't a countdown from like the worst to the very best. It's sort of a, maybe I'll do a countdown of my least favorite, the ones I feel are not like don't even bother to sort of a selection of several that I really enjoy and I use a combination of uh, depending on my need. How about that? <laughs> I'm not a, a powder heavy person um, because I am mostly dry, but I use powder to set my makeup. So a loose powder is pretty much 90% of the time what I am doing to set my foundation. And sometimes I use it, I use loose or a press, you know, it just depends. Um, I can use a, a powder again, kind of at the end as a finishing step, like a blurring kind of, you know, softening step. So it, yeah, it really, I'm not one to just need the control of oil in the summer. Yes. Um, yeah, but mostly it's for setting makeup and then uh, for longevity, and also so that when I put the loose powder on, I can do other products like bronzer and powder blush, and they go on smoother. All right, let's start with the absolute most unfavorite. <laughs> um, why? And I talked about this one before, and I wanna say I read somewhere how fabulous it was, maybe it was a Pinterest dupe, and you're kind of like, Dude, did you even try that? Like, because that is no dupe. Anyway, so it's the Flower Translucent Powder. Um, it is mostly silica. It feels like sandy grit. Uh, it's just, it's just not good. Um, it has ugh, a really weird container because a lot of the product escapes, uh, which is unfortunate. So you're not really getting, um, you know, you're, you're not protecting your purchase, your investment. I mean, it's only like $11, so it's not much of an investment, but still. Um, and do you see the cloud? <laughs> yeah. So it's a, just a, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't think it does anything. I mean, it kind of sets the makeup, but then it just feels like I'm putting on cornstarch on my face, which... Who knows, it's probably gonna be the next hack. Leave it to Nikki Tutorials or someone to just be like, cornstarch, the new loose powder. And it's like, no. I knew someone who was rubbing potatoes on their armpits as a natural deodorant. She got written up at work because she stunk so bad. This was at Nordstrom. Okay, I don't know about written up, but she got, she got a, little, a little word, a little word from management. Okay, and in the next category, your basic Maybelline and CoverGirl. So all the, so Maybelline and CoverGirl make a loose powder, you just never hear about them, you just hardly ever see them, they're kind of in the lower midsection of the shelf. The CoverGirl one is pretty decent. Um, so I have this loose powder test, or what I do is I put some in the, my palm and I rub it around to see how it, uh, blends with like my palm lines and how chalky it feels and this one actually does a pretty good job of just blending in but it has sparkles in it there's like a sparkly cast to it and it's also a little bit pink so this is the CoverGirl one it has a bit of a smell too just that old-fashioned makeup smell. There's a couple here I'm gonna to explain to you who that have a smell. So you might be turned off just by that. I don't know, some people like it, some people don't. So the CoverGirl is just kinda of like, eh, but there's better. Hold on, there's better. It also, I believe, comes in shades. This is 110 translucent, this is light, um, 
but it does come in shades. This one is the Maybelline one. It's called, um, it's in the Shine Free collection and it's loose powder. This also comes in shades. This one's light, it's very affordable. Um, it is, comes with a puff. It has, I don't remember if it has a smell. It's a little bit more of a yellow consistency, yellow consistency, yellow shade. Um, and when I put this on my hand, it has, it has more, powder to it. There's more coverage. There's like more um, opacity to it. You might be able to see it. It's a little bit, has a bit of a shine. Like it's not too chalky. It's okay. It doesn't make my skin feel dry. It doesn't have any sparkle to it. Um, it's nice. It, it really is nice. I'm actually wearing it today. I'm wearing three powders today. Um, I'm wearing it right here. And I was I was fine with it, maybe because I wasn't happy really with my face completely today. I was just kind of like, eh. But when, I remember when I first found this Maybelline loose powder, I was kind of like, this is cool. This is really cool. So it's it's not bad. It has it's it's got some good stuff to it, and it's cheap. Yeah, it's pretty cheap. I found Rimmel has a loose powder. I was so excited about this. It only comes at least on the shelf that I saw, there was only one shade and that was 01 Transparent. This was $4.99 at my Walmart. Um, this, it says Silky Loose, Silky Loose Face Powder. Now, you can see it's a very light shade. Um, I mean, it says translucent and it is, like it doesn't have any kind of coverage like the Maybelline one does. Um, and it's not chalky. However, I actually feel like this one is not very effective in, um, like I actually got breakthrough shine when I use this, which never happens to me. I mean, I'm a dry skin and I got shiny using this powder. So it's very soft. It's probably good for like under the eyes. You know, if you want a very like not powder powder, uh, it's, you know, it's pretty good. It's like, I mean, I don't know, you can't see it, but it has a bit of a whitish cast to it. So darker complexions, I would be weary. You don't, I don't know if it's gonna kind of, might look ashy, you know? I mean, this is the, the risk we run. I can say transparent. And then if you have an olive complexion or a darker complexion, and these are all sort of in the light peachy pink category, it might not work. Okay, so it is pretty good. It just doesn't wear a long time. So strange, but it's made in France. Like, where do you find a $5 loose powder made in France? So I'm kind of just excited about this because, because <laughs> here's some really cheap, actually pretty darn good powder. The HD Elf loose powder is pretty darn good. I can't remember if this is like $4 or $6. And they come in different shades. There's a yellow, there's hint of tint, and there's luminance soft luminance okay so let me show you my only beef with these is that they leak big time look at all that mess like they just really don't stay in the container maybe because it's such a huge sifter I don't know but there's just there's fallout everywhere so the hint of luminance lu luminance still says seems weird to say that you guys this powder is a finely milled powder. This powder is so freaking soft. It has no opacity whatsoever. It is transparent. It has a sheen. I don't know if you can see that. Um, so if you don't like that, don't get the luminance, okay? You will not, you will not like it. But this stuff is really good all over. It's really good. Um, under the eye area. I don't bake with, I'll tell you guys what, oh, I think you can bake with just about everything I've shown you if you want to. Um, 
I'll tell you which one you should not bake with. Um, so any of these that are super transparent, you can bake with. Now, I wouldn't bake with the hint of tint one unless you are a darker complexion. This one has, don't be afraid of the color. It has um, a, quite a bit of color. It's still really, really transparent. And to be honest with you, even as a pale person as myself, I can use this and it is not making me look orange or like my foundation's too dark. It actually just does a really nice job of warming up the skin. But do you see this container, like just now putting the lid back on, so much product comes out. So I would say the flaw of the e.l.f. is, and I think I heard, or I think I saw on the shelf that these containers have been changed. So if they have solved that problem, go e.l.f. Yay! So pretty darn cheap, but also made in China. So if you don't like made in China, you're not gonna like that either. See, I can't, I can't win them all, you guys, okay? <laughs> now here is the L'Oreal one. Now, as far as I know, this is only at Walmart and probably online at like Amazon and stuff, but I haven't been able to see it in very many stores. So this is the L'Oreal. It's in the Hydra Perfect uh, Perfecting Loose Powder. If it is in other stores now, great. But when I first got this, it was only at Walmart. So this is the Light 917 Claire. And I really like this powder. Um, there's something very silky about it. It goes on with a bit of a sheen, with a bit of coverage. It feels, it doesn't feel gritty, it doesn't feel chalky, and you know, it's nice. It really does well over the L'Oreal foundations that I like. Um, it's made in the USA. You know, people have a problem with L'Oreal and some of the L'Oreal companies because of their um, stance on uh, animal testing. So if that's the case for you, then skip it and go with some of my other recommendations. So this is the one I got at my Japanese grocery store. This is from Ouija Maya. You can get it on Amazon. It's called Chicote Professionals. Um, this was a little more pricey. I wanna say this was $18. You get a little more than Oh yeah, $18. You get an ounce, which doesn't seem like a lot, but it's actually more than others. Let's see, what, what do we have here? This is only 0.3 ounces. This is 0.7. It's funny how they look so similar. Like this is double, but this, then this. Anyway, so um, this is a whole ounce. It's a good value. It's made in Japan. Um, it's got coverage like it's a very um it's a more opaque finishing powder and i they had a tester of it and i got it because i thought oh this might be fun to bake with <laughs> that sounds like cake flour um but when i put it on my palm i felt like i got a really silky texture from it it didn't make my lines look dry um it gave kind of a, a nice opacity on the skin and it did come in a range of shades. So I think I just, I like it. I like it for a whole bunch of, you know, different um, uses in terms of just setting my makeup. It gives a nice, you know, finish. I guess I kind of like the powder that sort of adds to the coverage of my foundation. Um, it is all in Japanese, so I can't tell you anything um, of what it says. I believe on the original packaging, the outer packaging probably has English because I believe that is the law. This one, I really like. Okay, now you guys, especially women of color, black opal, I used this loose powder in my black owned makeup brand challenge video last summer and I love this stuff. This is the invisible oil blocking powder. Um, it's O2 invisible and I, for a drugstore product, this is I think their lightest shade. Um, this powder is just coverage, little bit, little tiny bit. It is not at all chalky. 
it I know you can't see my hand I realize that like this is only for your personal when you if you can test a powder in the store and do this little palm trick I'm telling you if you put it on the back of your hand it's probably gonna look chalky no matter how good it is but if you put it on your palm the oils of your palm it just kind of makes this I don't know, I saw it on QVC once, I think this woman was doing it, and it made sense to me because I could see all the lines of my palm, whether or not they looked soft and blurred or like chalky and cakey. So the black opal uh, powder is so good. It really is. It's nice and blurring. I know it just says it's only oil blotting, but I feel like it gives a little bit of coverage. It just kind of adds to the softness of the foundation. That's what I feel. You guys, I can't figure this one out if I like it. I think I like it. This is the Cody Airspun Powder. This has been around since, you know, 1892. I don't know really if that's... Oh, 1935. <laughs> okay. Um, so this used to come in a paper container. I still, actually, I only just threw away the paper one I had. They were making that paper one all the way up until about three years ago. Some YouTubers are gaga over this. And personally, I cannot stand the smell. But then I kind of like the smell. It's the whip. It's like Aquanet. You know how Aquanet takes you back to high school or junior high? This Cody powder takes me back to high school. This stuff comes in different formulas. Um, it's the naturally neutral is the one I got. And there's, and I don't know the difference. There's one that's something transparent and I think there's maybe a darker shade. Here is the thing, you will not find this in, it does, there is no other Cody products. The reason, this will be over by the nail polish or with the Sally Hansen leg spray because I think Cody used to be more of the nail, you know, you got the Cody nail polish. So I think that's why they still put it over there. But anyway, if you can't find the Cody Air Spun Powder, it is over by the nail polish. So I've seen it at Walgreens now, Walmart. So I've been seeing it pop up more. It was a little bit harder to find for a while, but it comes with the big puff. And I have to say, I put it on my forehead today and it's really good, you guys. It's, it's good. Um, the, <laughs> The container is a little bit wonky. It keeps cracking on me. What is the, you get 2.3 ounces of this stuff. So I actually like putting it on with a puff. That's the other thing I haven't even gone into you guys with is that powder can be put on with a puff, can be softly dusted on with a brush, can be put on with a wet sponge. Like there are so many ways to put on loose powder so it's yeah anyway okay so this powder is super soft it's really it doesn't it's not dry it's really good it's cheap it does do a nice job of looking soft on the skin setting the makeup all that good stuff so I'm telling you so it's good, but like I said, I'm giving you all the information, you make up your mind, okay? So this one is, and this is my last, nope, this is not my last one. So these two I'm showing you at the end because they're kind of my, like I said, they're not like my number one, not like woohoo, this is the best of all, but they are really darn good. So this one I showed you guys in a favorites video or a something video, and it's an, the Almay Smart Shade Loose Powder. It varies in price from $11 to $14, depending on where you get it. So be sure you get it on sale. I don't think it's carried wherever Almay is carried. I think it's only carried in certain stores. This is the 100 Light. The reason I like this is because it does have a little bit of coverage. This powder, really sets your makeup so nicely. It has such a nice sheen to it. See, and when I say sheen, I mean that because the reason I like that is because then it doesn't look chalky. There's something soft about it. There's something nice on the skin, looks natural. Um, it doesn't settle, it doesn't crepe. You cannot use this for baking though because it really does look chunky and 
globby. It's bad. Um, it's not good for baking. It's good for dusting. And um, yeah, so it's very nice and it's okay. So I like this stuff. I really think it's a good, good product. Um, now, which one excites me? I got this this summer in Canada and this is the Marcel Loose powder and I love it. And it is from France. No, it's made in Canada. It's 2.4 ounces. This is the translucent one. Um, this stuff is pretty darn good. You can use it. You can bake with it. You can put it on your face. <laughs> you can, um, you know, I mean, you can set it, your makeup with it however you want. And it's nice. It doesn't smell weird. Um, I think it comes in a variety of shades. It's a really good value. You can find it, I think, on the Birchbox website if you're not in Canada. Um, I'll put some links. I'll look for links below. Um, it's talc, you know. I mean, I guess you guys, I could go through this and then kind of like, I think all of them have talc. I could do another video of finding the best loose powder that's talc free. I mean, you know, there's a number of ways to do this, but I just gave you the ones I see in the stores and how I like them because apparently I have been buying them and using them. So the Marcel face powder is pretty darn awesome. It's good quality. It's made in Canada. It comes from, um, I love the Marcel line. It's fun. <clears throat> and, um, you know, it just, it works nicely. So there you have the rundown of all of them. I know that was a lot. I know this video is going to be forever long and I'm sorry. And if maybe you skip ahead through it, that's fine. I get it. So I hope it's helpful. I will try to do this as many times as I can, breaking down things in quantities so that you can make your own decisions. And um, yeah, so thank you so much for watching. Thanks guys for supporting my channel. Please give this video a thumbs up because that helps YouTube promote my channel more. Definitely subscribe if you haven't. Leave a comment and I will see you next time. Thanks.